Any distraction that causes you to slam on the brakes will lead to shockwave. So cutting down on distractions would go a long way to reducing gridlock. Scientists are now trying to figure out ways to keep our eyes on the road. Tom Schnell and his team at the University of Iowa are attempting to do just that. Looking good. <laughs> they attach electrodes to a student driver to monitor his heartbeat and brain waves. That tells them whether he's concentrating on the road. Good to good. Good to go? Yep, let's hop on the car. All right. The graduate students must position the driver carefully. Every movement tells a story of distraction. All right, Kyle, can I get you to throw the chessboard up? The experiment? To find out if navigation systems take his attention off the road for too long. Some good numbers. Hey, now look at the nav. That's a lot better. When a driver divides his attention between the road and a GPS, his brain produces fewer alpha waves, a sign of anxiety. The results can be deadly. They're interested in the navigation system causing so much distraction that the driver might actually uh, end up crashing the car. Schnell's team trick out the cars with sensors. The computers in the garage communicate with the car and the driver, marking down when he takes his eyes off the road for too long. Today, they're testing where best to place the GPS monitor. The instructions appear on the windscreen so the driver doesn't have to take his eyes off the road. The eye tracker confirms this is less distracting. The brain works much less, meaning less stress. What we're finding is that both electronic navigation systems are much better than paper charts. So when drivers use paper charts, the workload is really quite high. When we uh, have a dashboard mounted navigation system, it's much lower, but it's lower yet when the navigation information is projected into the windshield. But it's not just navigation. Reducing distractions of any sort would put a major dent in gridlock. Right turn ahead. 